hills to ice. Author's Note I shed many tears before I wrote this book. Many tears as I revised it. And even as it sits in your hands now, I know that I will shed tears again. Although riding giant lioners and performing sacred rituals might be in the realm of fantasy, all the pain, fear, sorrow, and loss in this book is real. Children of Blood and Bone was written during a time where I kept turning on the news and seeing stories of unarmed black men, women, and children being shot by the police. I felt afraid and angry and helpless, but this book was the one thing that made me feel like I could do something about it. I told myself that if just one person could read it and have their hearts or minds changed, then I would have done something meaningful against a problem that often feels so much bigger than myself. Now this book exists, and you are reading it. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. But if this story affected you in any way, all I ask is that you don't let it stop within the pages of this text. If you cried for Zuleika and Salim, cry for innocent children like Jordan Edwards, Tamir Rice, and Ayanna Stanley Jones. They were 15, 12, and 7 when they were shot and killed by police. If your heart broke for Zaley's grief over the death of her mother, then let it break for all the survivors of police brutality who've had to witness their loved ones taken firsthand. Survivors like Diamond Reynolds and her four-year-old daughter, who were in the car when Philando Castile was pulled over, shot, and killed. Geronimo Yanez, the officer who killed him, was acquitted of all charges. These are just a few tragic names in a long list of black lives taken too soon. Mothers ripped from daughters, fathers ripped from sons, and parents who will live the rest of their lives with a grief no parent should have to know. This is just one of the many problems plaguing our world, and there are so many days when these problems still feel bigger than us. But let this book be proof to you that we can always do something to fight back. As Zaley says in the ritual, Abogbo wa niomo rei ninu eje ati egungun. We are all children of blood and bone. And just like Zaley and Amari, we have the power to change the evils in the world. We've been knocked down for far too long. Now let's rise. This is Bonnie Turpin. We hope you have enjoyed this production of Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, a Macmillan audiobook production from Henry Holt and Company.